Hi, my name is Mrs. Chin, and today we're going to start the process of registering you for 8th grade. As you look at the card, notice it asks you to fill it out in blue or black ink. Please be sure to do that. Right now, I would like you to print your name where it says student name printed. That way, if you should lose your card, we can be sure to get it back to you. Let's begin at looking at the right side of the card where it says seventh grade teachers only. Your teacher's signatures on this side of the card will indicate proper placement for English and math. Be sure to have your English teacher sign it where it says English teacher signature required and your math teacher sign it where it says math teacher signature required. That is all you need to do on this side of the card. Just like this year, you will have eight periods in a day and the year is divided into two semesters, the first half of the year and the second half of the school year. Your classes of English, science, social studies, math, and of course lunch will all be scheduled for you. They will last all year long. In addition to that, you will have two elective periods that you will need to choose electives to fill. With that in mind, let's take a look at the card and the electives from which you may choose. As you look at the card, the electives are found on the left-hand side. Notice there are several full-year elective classes from which you may choose and several long semester classes. This is why it is very important to read the course descriptions before making your choices. The course descriptions are found on the back of the card. Teachers will be hired based on the choices that you make on this card. That's why it is so important that you read the course descriptions and make your choices very carefully. Please be sure these are classes that you truly want to take next year. We are not able to change your elective choices once you have registered for them. Let's take a moment to look at the last few lines on the card where it says teacher signatures required. For super sports, you will need to see Mrs. Gore for a signature. For peer tutoring, you will need to see Mrs. Coulter for a signature. On the last line, it says that application and a signature are required. This is true for video production, for which you should have already interviewed for, office aid, Desert Shadows Elementary student aid, and for being a teacher aid. For these classes, you will need an application. Let's take a look at the application. Teacher aid applications may be picked up in the front office or from one of the counselors. It will need to be filled out completely. Once it's completed, you should staple it to the back of your registration card before handing it in. If you choose teacher aid on this application, we need you to print the teacher's name and have the teacher or an administrator sign where it says teacher or administrator signature. We need you to understand you will be signing up for a department, not a particular teacher, although we will try to place you with the teacher of your choice. Think carefully about the department for which you would like to aid. Then choose a teacher within that department and we will try to get you with that teacher. Moving back to the card, look at the example here of choices that I might have made for classes. You will need to rank order your classes beginning with number one up to a possible number four if you choose all semester classes. In this example, I chose Showstoppers, which is a full year class, as my number one choice. For my second choice, I chose Guitar, which is a semester course. And for my third choice, I chose PE for one semester. As alternates, I labeled them A1 and A2. For A1, I chose PE all year long instead of just a semester. And for my second alternate, I chose Art as a semester class. Be sure that you give us all of your main choices to fill up two full semesters of your electives plus two alternate choices. As we wrap up, let me remind you of a few very important things. Be sure that you have all signatures that are required on your card before turning it in. 
and your card is due back to your sixth period teacher. Cards are due back no later than Wednesday, January 18th. Remember to staple the aid application to the back of the card if that's what you are choosing to do. Again, please make sure you have all your teacher's signatures that are required as well as a parent's signature on your card before turning it in.